Hello everyone, in today's video we will be talking about instruments in endodontics. Uh, various instruments used in endodontics uh, include the hand instruments and the contents of our presentation today are standardization of the instruments, classification and instruments for excess cavity preparation, root canal preparation and instruments for root canal filling and miscellaneous other instruments. Engel and Levin recommended that instruments shall be numbered from 10 to 100. Okay, in the process of standardization, the numbers should be advanced by 5 units up to size 60 and then by 10 units up to size 100. And it has been revised to include number 6 to 140. And we can see here D1 is the tip and D2 is the 16th millimeter from the tip. But according to the new revised present standardization, the D16 is denoted as the 16th mm. D1, D2, D3 for every mm increment, it is denoted as D0, D1, D2. That is D3 is 3 millimeter away from the tip. And number shall be the diameter of the instrument in hundreds of the millimeter where the tip. That is if uh, a hand instrument is given number 10, that is 0.1 mm at the tip. The working blade shall begin at the tip. The working blade shall begin at the tip, uh, designated site is D0 and shall extend exactly 16 mm up to the sap, okay, up to D16, that is 16 millimeter. And there is 2% constant taper, that is 0 0.02 millimeter increase in diameter for every millimeter. So, uh, diameter at D16 will be 0 0.32 mm greater than that of D0. And the steep angle should be 75 degree plus minus 15 degree. The steep angle should be. And for easier recognition, these all the files are color coded. Okay. Number 6 is the pre pink gray and purple these are the unique ones and we have the six recurring color combinations white yellow red blue green black white yellow red blue green black starting from 15 15 20 25 30 35 40 again from the 45 white and we've got one mnemonics for this memorization of these files you can see in Description below, I will put a link to memorize this uh, file size. And these are available in size, three sizes. Sort is the size uh, 19 and 21 mm size. And the standard size will be 25 mm size file. And long will be 28 to 31 mm. 28 mm and 31 mm variations are also available. And in this picture I have shown 25 mm standard file and its color is green means that could be 35 70 or 130 number file okay and classification of endodontic instruments ISO classification of instruments uh, can be categorized into four groups for hand use only, engine driven and engine driven latch type instrument and ultrasonic and sonic instruments. Uh, many a times in exams you may be asked to classify these uh, instruments. And for hand use, they can be K files, H files, R type rasp, barb brooches, spreaders, and in engine driven uh, nickel titanium rotary instruments like uh, Pro Taper. SAF and Gears Glidden and Pisa Reamers are engine driven latch type instrument and we have ultrasonic and sonic instruments 
and broaches and rasp broaches are of two types okay barbed and smooth broach two types these are the short angle instruments used for single use only and its use is for extirpation of pulpal tissues loosen the debris in the necrotic canals remove the paper points the cotton from the root canal and these are manufactured from round soft steel wire the smooth surface is notched to form barbs bent at an angle from the long axis and hence the instrument is weaker compared to a rasp a smooth brush is made up of carbon steel and is less likely to collapse in fine canals it is used to check the patency of canal okay barb brush and smooth brush and techniques of use a barb brush of an appropriate size should be which is just sort of the apical foramen it is inserted into the canal and slowly rotated to engage all the fibrous tissue and then withdrawn if the tissue is not removed intact the brush is lightly scrubbed along the wall from the apex outwards this is the picture showing a barb brush taking the pulpal tissue extirpated and rasp it is also called as rat file ada specification number 63 it is similar in design to barb dross but have shallower and more rounded a void used to remove pulpal tissue from the canal space it is also similar and components of the endodontic instrument the each endodontic instrument contains uh, flute a radial land or marginal width Cutting edge, leading edge, blade, relief, helix angle, rake angle, pitch, all these uh, meanings of all these terminologies we should be familiar with. And K files and modification. Uh, these uh, K files are more, uh, made from square and triangular cross section and they are twisted to create a file. They have uh, 1 1 by 2 to 2 1 by 2 more flutes per unit length than a reamer and tip of the cutting edge is pyramid in shape and helix angle of 45 degree cutting action will be filling or reaming not that is not filling okay filing or reaming used mainly in clockwise direction these are k files and modification is k flex file these are rhomboidal or diamond cross section they have increased flexibility cutting edge is formed by two acute angles of the rhombus the alternating low fluids from by the obtuse angles of the rhombus act as an auger providing more area for increased debris removal and remove reduces the danger of complicating compacting dentinal fillings in the canal K flex of file. It is manufactured by twisting a triangular cross section blank. Tip is modified to be non cutting. And K flex R file, a Roan file, triple flex file, C plus file. You can uh, have a look at all these ones. H file and modification. Okay, head strom file it is manufactured by cutting the spider fluids into shaft of a piece of round taper and stainless wire. And its helical angle is 60 degree. It cuts in one direction and pulling. Okay, and it's used to uh, remove the gutta percha loose broken instrument and to instrument the immature canals which are irregular and harbor the debris. Once you use it, these are quite important files many a times i have used is files to extract the broken root epices too these are very fine instruments which can take the canal contents out it is used in pulling motion uh, root epices can also be um, extracted using these files once they are nicely engaged and a helix angle is 90 60 degree helix angle is 60 degree okay and safety is files these non cutting side in order to prevent lazing high flex files these all are the variations of these files uni files as file you can have a look at all these also ones 
and then dreamers in the according action manufactured with either triangular or square blank and helical angle is 20 degree Cutting action, rimming is done, done by penetration, rotation uh, one half to half turn, and retraction. Retraction brings about the cutting action. Similarly, let's go to non rotary endodontic instrument used with a handpiece. Rotary handpiece examples are NSK Micromotor handpiece, WNH reduction gear handpiece and the guide reduction gear handpiece try it to zx built-in apex locator reciprocating handpiece is commonly used is guidomatic handpiece it is last type instrument with a quarter ton motion operating it 3000 times per minute and others are indo cursor indo gripper etc it is a rotary endodontic instrument Vertical stroke handpiece are the ear or electric driven that delivers a vertical stroke ranging from 0.3 to 1 mm when the instrument is loose in the canal. When the instrument binds, the handpiece delivers a quarter reciprocating motion along with a vertical stroke. In extremely narrow canals, the motion ceases canal finder system. It is example. And random handpiece, it allows both the lateral and vertical movements and it uses modified key files <coughs> similarly we have a rotary instruments nickel titanium okay all these are non-rotary endodontic instrument non-rotary means uh, this cannot be used in 360 degree motion but this rotary this can be used in 360 degree motion Similarly, gets glued and drills and piezo reamers. These are also uh, latched instruments which can be used with a uh, uh, engine driver micromotor. Uh, gets glued and drills, they come in size uh, number one to number six, which uh, have the tip diameter of 0 0.5 to 1.5 mm. Uh, one thing about the night eye files uh, these uh, nickel titanium super elastic alloy they do not exhibit a proportional strain under stress until a specific level is attained okay that ultimately causes the fracture and due to their safe memory it has led to the development of endodontic instrument which can be employed in rotary motors numerous types of instruments which can be employed in truly rotary or 360 degree revolution in a curved canal and it is recommended that uh, they are used in a handpiece driven by an electric motor at 150 to 600 rpm okay and this gets gliden drill and piezo reamer they caught a lateral lead resulting in a strip operation hence uh, this uh, gets gliden and piezo reamers should be used only in withdrawal motion to remove tooth structure at a low speed. Similarly, instruments for excess cavity preparation, hand pieces, bores, punch surface mirror, root canal explorer, endodontic spoon excavator and extirpation instrument. Uh, dome in that fissure bar is used to penetrate the pulp chamber. Similarly, the roof of pulp chamber can be removed with a round burr in a pulling stroke. The safe in diamond bar is used to flare the excess opening without cutting the floor of the pulp chamber. We also call it Indo Z bar, uh, Indo Z bar. And number two or four round burrs are uh, used for excess preparation. Long sank bores are preferred, but there is a greater risk of perforation when using them. Front surface meter is best suited for visibility deep within the pulp chamber. And a DZ-16 endodontic ex explorer is used to probe and detect canal openings within the pulp chamber. Similarly, we have Indo excavator, larger than the conventional excavator, its shape allows Curities of the pulp chamber when conventional one will not reach the floor of the chamber. Okay. 
and it is used as surgical aid to excavate peripical lesion. A disposable irrigating syringe and disposable needle, these are also necessary to deliver the irrigating solutions, uh, sodium hypochlorite or uh, normal saline and used with an irrigant to clean and disinfect the canal during the endodontic treatment. Blunt needle with side, a side exiting delivery will reduce the risk of the needle binding within the canal. And instruments used for irrigation are closed in needles with a side vent proteins and max side probe, open in needles without a side vent, monozate, stroco irrigation. This type of needle should be used. Absorbent paper points to absorb any moisture in the canal that is blood, pus, saliva, everything and it, they are also used to carry medicaments into the canal. Sonic and ultrasonic instruments uh, are energized instruments that operate at a speed faster than sound range. Sonic handpiece, Sonic Air 1500, Megasonic they have an adjustable ring to give an oscillating range of 1500 to 3000 cycles per second. Heliosonic, Sapersonic, Rispisonic, there are three types of files. And Ultrasonic, Cavi, Indo, Enac, Pizone Master 400, etc. And instruments for root canal filling. Gutta Persa, it is the best uh, material because of its non-soluble, non irritant non property that are condensed into the pulp chamber. And it follows the same ISO classification as endodontic files. The non-standardized ZP are also available, which have greater taper than the standard ISO type. Spread, it is also a quite useful instrument that can be hand spreader or finger spreader. Finger instrument, uh, it comes with a smooth pointed tapered walking end. And it is used to condense gutta pores laterally into the canal during obturation. The size of the spreader depends upon the width of the canal prepared and the lateral feet of the primary cone. Care should be taken to choose the spreader size that is able to reach within 1 to 2 mm of the working length in order to obtain optimal apical compaction. Similarly, this plugger, its function is um, the working in is flat to facilitate plugging or condensing the gutta percha. Okay, after the excess has been removed by melting off with a heated instrument. Uh, with a heated instrument, the uh, excess is removed from the coronal part and it is plugger is introduced to plug or condense the gutta percha vertically. Similarly, lenturo spiral drill, or it is also known as rotary paste filler. Its function is uh, to place materials in, into the canal. It is a small flexible instrument. It fits into the conventional handpiece. It can be easily broken, so it should be used with caution. Similarly, the endodontic ruler special endodontic rulers are available for measuring the length of finger instruments endodontic block endo block we call or transfer spawns uh, the one that is shown in the right it is a sturdy block used to organize and hold endodontic finger and rotary instruments during procedures it reduces the possibility of percutaneous injuries when handling endodontic finger and rotary instruments. Okay, when you accidentally prick yourself, that's uh, quite a disaster. So don't do that. Uh, get one endo block or endo sponge. Endo locking tweezers, endo locking pliers or tweezers. It has a lock that permits material to be held without continuous finger pressure. It has a groove at the tip. A group tip facilitate holding absorbent points and gutta percha cones. Similarly, electronic apex locators, it is used to determine the distance of the apical foramen. The screen shows the operator to visualize the file movement. It is 
very very useful in the walking length determination similarly electric pulp tester it is used to test the vitality of the tooth using electric stimulus it is uh, electric stimulus is increased in small increments until the patient can feel the stimulus and toothpaste or profile axis paste can be used to conduct the current from the pulp tester to the tooth similarly loops and operating microscope these are used for illumination and my magnification which is very very important for the location of the root canals and the endodontist would use a surgical microscope while the general dental practitioner can use loops and a headlight that give excellent magnification and illumination so during the initial years of your practice you may be working without any types of uh, instruments loops and so after working with loops you can um, find it difficult working without it and once you start using microscope that's uh, never you will not revert to loops or without using any instruments the reference for this presentation was uh, Grossman's and in don't expect manual for the graduates thanks for watching have a nice time